hey, do you wanna boost your self-esteem and just be a little bit happier? Are you having low self-esteem? You're uncertain, it's difficult to make decisions, your mind's a little foggy? Well, here are three things that you can do in your space to get those spirits going, to get a little bit more cheerful, and to get a little more pep in your step, which helps you make decisions, clear that brain fog, and move forward. I'm Jeanette Tizikowski, your go-to feng shui consultant. Let's get into it. thing you can do is add some color to your space. The easiest way to add some color to your space is by getting in the car, going to the grocery store, or better yet, your local family-owned flower shop, and buy yourself a bouquet of flowers. In feng shui, plants give life to a space, they breathe life and happiness into a space and give us energy. So picking up a bouquet of flowers that are fun and bright and cheerful, some Gerber daisies that are really big and beautiful, are going to cheer you up, bring some color to your space, and make the day a little brighter. Now that's the easiest one. What else can you do without purchasing anything? Go around your space and surely you have some artwork or some pictures, some family pictures, some pictures from past trips, or some really nice artwork that you've invested in, and it might be colorful or have pops of color that are vibrant. Go and find these pictures and these images, this artwork, and actually take them from their space and put them in some natural light. Put them by some windows, by some patio doors, anywhere where sun comes in for a day or two and really let these colorful images soak up energy. Soak up the light, get reflected in the sunlight, by putting them out in the light, they kind of charge up with that sun energy. Then you're looking at them in this, literally in this new light with sun and light and brightness. Those colors spill throughout your home. Those colors are reflected into your space with the sunlight. They're recharged and you get to see them in a new area and that changes things up that changes up the energy, you get to look at them more frequently, and it puts a smile on your face, right? That's why you have these pictures. After they're there for a couple days, then you can put them back into their spot and let them work their magic and bring energy back into their original space. Or maybe you've been inspired to move these images and try them in a new spot. So that first one is to add color to your space with new flowers, a nice fresh bouquet of flowers is always cheerful or by taking other, other colors from other rooms, from your artwork, your imagery, and bringing it throughout the space. The second thing you can do to light that inner fire, to boost that self-esteem, to get a little bit happier and bring that cheer back, is to bring in the fire element. In Chinese metaphysics and in classical feng shui, which is what I practice, we look at the balance of the elemental cycle. The elemental cycle is fire, earth, metal, water, wood, fire. All of these elements in that order support each other and build them up. So fire is in charge of our emotions, our excitement, our inner fire. So bring the fire element into your space. How can you bring the fire element into your space? You can use fire colors, which are red, oranges, purples, pinks, magentas, bright colors. Yellow is actually earth, but in this case, if you wanna use a really bright yellow, that works for this topic. If you want more inspiration on the fire element and what it looks like, its shapes, its other colors, go check out my Instagram, at Elemental Clarity. Some of this lower vibe, lower emotion, not as excited feeling might be an imbalance of fire in your space. Now note, before you start adding in more art, adding in more flowers, adding in more of the fire element, I want you to first check around your space and declutter. And I know that's not what you wanna hear, but at least clean up the areas that are around the windows or any of the doors and windows that let in natural light. Because the sun is Earth's and the human's natural fire source, right? It's the biggest star. It is the fire element at its finest. And so we want to naturally bring in natural light. Natural light piercing through our space, flowing through our space, brings so much energy through our space with an energy is opportunity, energy is wealth, energy is health, energy is human harmony. And so 
we want to declutter around the windows and the doors to let in natural light, natural fire element. Okay, so if you have that under control and you have the windows and the doors in the areas letting in natural light, then we can put in some fire element in those fire colors. Fire colors, like I said, reds, orange, purples, magentas, pinks. You can bring them in with blankets, more pictures, any little pop of color, or even if like you just want some nice, like a series of those color swatches in a nice picture frame hung up or something. Anything to just pop in a little bit of color temporarily while you're feeling this way to cheer you up. And if it looks really good and it makes you feel really good, then it can be permanent and it can stay. But we just want some simple quick fixes. We don't need to go like painting or like purchasing anything big to cheer us up. These are quick hits that we can do. And the third thing that you can do, if you're already in love with your space and everything's good and you love how it feels and your space does recharge you, you just feel kind of in a funk. You don't need to add anything or adjust the outer feng shui or your environmental feng shui. Then check internally. How do we light that inner fire again when it's not just affirmations or thinking positive? Like what can you do to really cheer yourself up? Dancing's not working, talking positive to yourself's not working, saying mantras isn't working, tricking your brain into being happy just is kind of not working. You know there's something internally that's messing with you a little bit. Here is what you should do. Meditate with your solar plexus in line. Your solar plexus is that yellow chakra, that yellow energy center when you see that girl meditating and you see the rainbows and all the dots on her. Yellow one is the third one up from the bottom. It's called your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is an important energy center that has to do with your confidence, this decision making, this creative thinking. It's your inner fire, it's your gut. So, you're already on YouTube. Go to the YouTube search bar and type in solar plexus sound bath meditation. And so many sound baths are gonna come up. Sound baths are those bowls, those ringing Tibetan singing bowls that when the leaders like take their, I don't know what it is, their stick and goes around the bowls, it makes that really beautiful sound. That sound goes inside of us and it cleanses the stuck energy in us and it gets it flowing again. And once you clear out that emotion and you clear out that stuck energy, that stuck energy release releases the stuck feeling that you feel. So search that on YouTube, go to that, listen to some of those. There's some really fast five minute ones, there's some 10 minute ones, there's some like five hour ones. And you can simply lay there and listen to those sounds, think about your energy center, that solar plexus area, and that will be sure to lift your mood. So to recap, one, add some color to your space. Either get objects and items and artwork that you already have in your home and put them inside the light. Put them inside the light that comes into your home so that they're even brighter, they're magnified. Or go buy yourself a fresh bouquet of flowers. Two, specifically add in the fire element. Add in the fire element if you already have decluttered around the area where our natural fire element wants to come in, the sun that sunshine, if those areas are cleaned up and natural light is coming in, then find some pops of colors, add in that fire element in blankets, in more artwork. And then third, if your environment is already on point because you've been watching these videos and you know your feng shui is good and flowing right, then look inward. Look inward and work on that solar plexus, gut, yellow, fiery chakra. Release the energies there, clean those out with some sound bath meditations that are right here on YouTube and you'll be feeling better in no time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below which tip you're excited to try. Like this video if you enjoyed it, even just a little bit, if you learned something new maybe. And if you're new to this channel, then subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can follow along and be alerted as these new feng shui and mindset tip videos come out so that these videos can help you transform a life that you tolerate into one you treasure.